Well, recently we introduced a new game to all our teens at the Sunday Night Devos called Do You Love Your Neighbor? And I won't take the time to explain the game here other than to say the game centers around that question, do you love your neighbor? And each player can respond in one of two ways. They can either say, no, I don't love my neighbor, or they can say, yes, but I don't love anyone who fill in the blank. Suffice it to say, it's a funny and rather chaotic game that gets everybody involved in the action. But the reason I bring it up here is to ask you that same question. Do you love your neighbor? And by neighbor, I don't just mean the family next door or across the street, but the people all around us. Do you love your neighbor? And if we're honest, I think that just like in that game, we often have to respond in one of those same two ways. On one hand, we might have to say, no, I don't love my neighbor. I put up with them, I smile and wave at them, but I don't actively love them. I don't look out for their needs. I, I don't try to get to know them. I might not even notice that they're there at all. And so sometimes it's that we don't really love our neighbor. But on the other hand, we might say, yes, I do love my neighbor, but dot, 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 I don't love anyone who has ever hurt my feelings. Yes, but I don't love anyone who acts like a know-it-all. Yes, but I don't love anyone who struggles with that specific sin or temptation. Yes, but I don't love anybody who holds this specific opinion on church issues or political policy. Yes, but I don't love anyone who is of that race. Yes, but fill in the blank with whatever it might be. And instead of simply loving our neighbor, we end up redefining what love and neighbor really mean at all. And I believe this is exactly the problem Jesus was addressing in Luke chapter 10, when Jesus, after telling the parable of the Good Samaritan, ends with this key question. He says, which of the three men, the priest, the Levite, or the Samaritan, proved to be a neighbor to the man who was on the side of the road? And the answer is, of course, the Samaritan. But why? What made the Samaritan different from the priest and the Levite? In other words, what made the Samaritan do what the priest and the Levite should have done? And the answer, I think, is one word, compassion. The priest and the Levite, Jesus says, both saw the man, but they passed by on the other side. They saw him and felt nothing. They didn't care. But then Jesus says, Luke 10, 33, a Samaritan, as he journeyed, came to where this man was, and when he saw him, he had compassion. A word that literally means to suffer with. And because the Samaritan saw him and could feel that man's suffering and pain, the Samaritan was compelled to enter into that suffering himself, sparing no expense to make sure that this man was healed. And so what about you? Do you see other people and pass by on the other side in some way? Or do you see people through the eyes of compassion? Do you see people like Jesus? Do you love your neighbor?